Hey, it's Kevin from KD Music here. I thought I'd just do a video just sort of showing what I did with a guitar amp and guitar cabinet. Uh, this is what I use for my own stuff. It's morphed over time. I've had various amps, I've had various cabinets, and uh, I started to experiment with something a little bit different. So, you see from this picture, so I've got a Line 6 amp which I can simulate uh, various other amp models. Now, obviously, um, look, I, I think this amp is a very good amp. It's got real tubes in it, but it, it is an emulation um, as well. Um, so it's not going to be as good as the real amps, but let's be realistic. I'm not, I'm not rich, so I cannot afford all the real amps. But this is a great little great amp for recording guitars because I can get lots of different sounds. Now what I also did was I had a cheap uh, Bagheera 4x12 cabinet and that's what originally I bought a long time ago and had very cheap speakers in and everything else. So I decided to experiment with different speakers and what I ended up doing was basically replaced all the speakers in this cabinet and they're all wired individually and what I've got is I've got they're all Celestians the one down here is a G12 T75 this is a Vintage 30 then we've got a Greenback 25 I think it is and a Creamback and you'll see I wired up a little box out here and this is we've got a couple of cables going into the cabinet and they're wired individually to each speaker so even though it's in a 4x12 box it's not a 4x12 anymore it's basically 4 times 1x12s so they're all individual and you can only play each speaker individually so this is definitely not a cabinet that you would go and gig with um, but it's something I'm experimenting with for recording. Now, the reason for that is, is generally because I only mic up one speaker anyway. And I thought, well, maybe I could get the best sounds out of my amp by picking an appropriate speaker that goes with the amp model that I choose. Now, obviously, so I've got just jacks on the back of this, four jacks, and they're all labelled for the speaker. So I can move that cable from there. Now one thing to remember, this is the speaker cabinet cable. So this is not something you just quickly plug between the four on the fly. You need to make sure you turn your amp off, let it cool down, turn it off, switch the cable to the other speaker, and then turn your amp on, warm it up. Don't ever if you were to do something similar to this don't ever swap this cable while the amp's still on because you'll damage your amp okay but the good thing is is once you work out what you like you can document it put it in a spreadsheet whatever you want i like you know if you say i like this model amp with this speaker then you know what you need to set up and you can do that prior to turning your amp on if you know what you want to record. So you sit down to do your recording and you say, I want to have a, a Marshall JCM 800 and you might say, well, the best speaker for that is a V30. So plug it into the V30 before you turn your amp on, get it all set up, ready to go. So that's what I've done. I've labeled the top of the cabinet so I know which speaker's which. And then obviously I can mic. I rip the cloth off the front and the reason for that is is because I'm miking all the time um, I got sick of using a flashlight to try and see where the cone was and where to place the mic properly so I ripped the actual cloth off and then I found these cheap grills on eBay which I just bought and placed on the front just to protect the speakers a little bit in case somebody bumped the mic and jabbed it through my speakers so that's what I've got there so I just did a few recordings just to show what impact changing of the speakers have on your amp models. 
All right, so every single one of these is recorded with the same mic, an SM57. Uh, the mic's been placed in a similar location on every speaker, um, sort of on the outer edge of the cone. Um, and it's using the same guitar, and I've tried to sing the, the same part over and over again. And I've just also, all I've done between these is so this row here is using a um, the Line 6 model as a a Fender Blackface, a double I think it is, and all I've done is just played that part and then I've changed the speaker, all right, and then I've done the same thing with an AC-15 model, a Vox AC-15 model, and uh, same again with a Marshall JCM-800, and the same again with a Mesa Boogie dual rectifier. So I'll just play through, we'll start with the Blackface, and you can just see what impact the speaker has, how much impact the speaker has on your sound when nothing else changes. So as I play it you'll see me switch with these and here you'll see you've got Creamback, Greenback, G12, T75 and the V30. So I'll just play them now and switch through. Okay, hopefully you can hear a difference on uh, on YouTube with that. Um, from where I'm sitting, the, every single one of those speakers has a massive difference between each one. So the process I took personally, and it could change from song to song if you want to, but I've gone through and I would select the most appropriate speaker for that amp, and I've jotted it down so that when I decide I want to record a part, with a blackface, um, I, I know which speaker I prefer. Okay, let's go through the AC15 and have a listen to that one.
Let's do the same thing with the Marshall JCM 800. Let's try the Mesa Boogie. So there you go, um, hopefully it was useful. Uh, so, you know, in the future, if you're thinking of looking for a different sound from your guitars, from your amps, whatever else, you know, maybe you might want to think about getting another speaker or, you know, get a whole new cabinet. Um, just try different cabinets with it. It's another option than just buying a new amp or uh, a new guitar. So thanks for watching. See you next time.